remember the video where we made hypertufa boxes um, from a styrofoam box? You just painted it, brushed it, etc., and made a real nice planter. But we did have questions whether or not we could put the cement on the outside or mortar or any kind of a mixture like that. And yes, these are some of the boxes that we've done that to. It's wonderful. It makes a nice stone coating almost just like a regular hypertufa. It's just light of a, as a feather. Okay, this is Kim, the hypertufa gardener. And today I've got a slurry mixed up. And it is a slurry of the same thing that we've used for our um, vase, head vase, and the same thing we've used for our draped hypertufa. And right now I'm using it to coat this Tyrofoam box the fake hypertufa, or the almost hypertufa, I call it on the web page. I've got this mixed up, and you can see where I'm just pulling it across the sides, and it will dry, and it will be a reasonable facsimile to a real hypertufa, but it'll be very, very light to carry around, as light as it would be loaded with the soil, etc. Um, I have painted these and texturized them, but you can also just take the mortar, mortar mix, or I'm sorry, the hypertufa mix, and just coat them, go a little bit down in the inside, so that when you fill it with soil, you won't have that white area showing through. But it can be coated easy with, such as when you make your draped hypertufa, just use a little bit of this to use up the leftovers, or the other way around. Do this to make your almost hypertufas, and then the leftovers, you can do a few drapes. But I've got this all coated around the edges. I had already texturized this, so it does have a real nice stone-like texture already, and that's from using a rasp, etc. And then all you do is just set this to dry. But you can see where that looks like a real cement or stone trough. And all I'll do is lay that on a piece of plastic. And there's my trough. That looks like hypertufa.